Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to connect an NX1P over Ethernet to the NSHMI. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I will create a new project. And I will select my controller which is an NX1P2. And I'll select the model which is 9024DT1 which is the 24 point I.O. unit with PNP outputs version 1.13 and I'll hit create. I will now go to configurations and setup go to my I.O. map and I'm gonna right mouse click on the built-in I.O. and select create device variable. It creates my 24 I.O. so that I can access them in my program turn on the outputs, monitor the inputs. I will now go to data, global variables. You can now see these 24 I.O. that I just created are available to put into our program. I will come over and right mouse click and create new. And I'm going to call this HMI input and I'm going to publish this so that it's available to my HMI. And here I've created some other variables. HMI output, which is a bool or a bit. And then I have output. Now this is 16 bits. It's in an array. And then I have 16 inputs. 0 to 15. Also uh, bool or bit. I will now go to my program section 0 and insert a contact and call it HMI input. And then I'll have that go to an output and that's HMI output. I'll also put in a parallel output here and I'm going to select a real world output which is bit IO output bit 0 and now I'm going to insert a new rung by typing R and inserting input 0 that's my first array variable and output 0 my first output array variable I'll now come over to Project, Rebuild, which compiles the program. And now I'll come over to Communication Setup. And I'm going to set my Ethernet up to 192.168.250.001. And I'm going to check my Ethernet communications and it's okay. Now that we've set up our communications we'll go online. Select no and we will download to controller and hit execute and yes Yes again. I'll now open up CX Designer and create a new project. And the screen that I have here is a NS8 version 2. And I'm going to select 8.9, which is the latest. I'll click OK. And here's screen zero. I'm going to come over and go to my communication settings. I'm going to delete the serial connection. And I am going to enable the Ethernet connection. And you can see my HMI is set for 192.168.250.2. Node address 2 should match this to. I'm going to right mouse click and add. And I'm going to add a SysMac NJ. 
and I'm going to call this NX1P. And my address is going to be 192.168.250.001, and I'm going to click OK. I'm now going to go back to my NX1P, and I'll go offline. And I'm going to export global variables to CX Designer. Click OK. Go back to my CX Designer. And I'm going to come over and look for symbols. Right mouse click, select paste. And here I've pasted in my four variables. It's actually more than four. It's variable HMI input and output, and then this is 16 variables and another 16 variables. I'll close this, add a push button, double click on here, and select. I'll select my HMI input. and then I'll come over and I'll give it a label. And my label will be HMI input off and then when it's on I will say HMI input on. I'm now going to add another input and it's input array variable 0 and then my label just says input zero off and put zero on. I will add a bit lamp. Double click on here. And set my bit lamp to HMI output. And then click OK. And here I've changed the text on here so that the label has HMI output off, HMI output on. I changed the color and then I added another lamp here for output array 0 and also changed the color of the lamps and the labels. I'll now add a multi-function button and the multi-function button I'm going to go to switch screen troubleshooter NJ series and here I can select which tab I want it to go to first and in this case a user trouble and click OK. And I added a label troubleshooter. I'll now come over to PT transfer and I'll set up my transfer settings. And in this case I'm gonna use USB initially. and nothing I need to set there and I'll click OK and then I'll come over and I'll transfer to my HMI select yes to all to save it and then start transferring and my transfer is done and now I can test my program I'll go back to my NX1P and I'll go online and I'll bring up my HMI and here I've got both my HMI and my PLC logic up I will force input on and that turns on the output you'll notice also that it's turning on this bit here
Now I'll turn on the other input and that turns on output array variable 0. And now I'll go to the troubleshooter. And we can see here under controller error, PLC, motion, ethercat, ethernet IP are all okay, all normal. So this built-in troubleshooter is available for both the NS screens and the NA screens. And that is how to connect an NX1P to the NS HMI.